Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing line graph data interpretation. First of all, we need to read the information carefully and then based on the given information, we need to solve the questions accordingly. See here. Here the information which is provided in this line graph data interpretation is annual turnover of companies A and B both uh, during the years. Uh, here annual turnover of two companies are given in various years uh, starting from 1996 to 2001, 1996, 1997, 1998, 1999, 2000 and 2001. In these six years uh, annual turnover of two companies. Uh, here we are talking about two companies company A and company B. Both companies annual turnover is given and one more thing is whatever the values which are provided in this line graph all the values are given in terms of uh, lakhs. It means that uh, here if the first value is 350 this 350 is indicating that 350 lakhs 350 lakhs okay. So whenever you are cal doing uh, such kind of calculations you have to be very much cautious about this particular uh, statement uh, in terms of lakh rupees. Now uh, the companies are A and B and uh, company A is representing with a line of rhombus, company B is representing with a line of uh, square shape. So based on the uh, based on that particular shapes you need to check it out uh, which one which line is representing company A which line is representing company B that is the given information. Now based on this information we need to solve the questions. Look at the first question. Here the first question is what is the percentage increase? What is the percentage increase in turnover of company A from the year 2000 to 2001? Here we are talking about 2000 and 2001. Here we are talking about 2000 to 2001. From 2000 to 2001, and the two we are talking about company A. We are talking about company A. Percentage increment that we need to calculate. Percentage increment. Basically how can we calculate percentage increment? Percentage increment is equal to difference between the values which we are taking divided by less value or previous year value. Both are same. Less value or previous year value. Difference between the values which we are taking that is 2000-2001 for company A divided by less value among those two or else you just take it out the previous year value. Why? Because we are comparing with previous year that is the reason why you need to write down the denominator as previous year into 100 percentage into 100 percentage whenever you are calculating percentage into 100 percentage symbol that is a common point. This is the way of calculating percentage increment, right? Now you just uh, take these values. Percentage increment is equal to first note down the values of company A 2000 and 2001. Company A is representing the value with the uh, uh, shape with the uh, square, uh, sorry, uh, rhombus, right? So the first value is 300 and the second value is 500. 300 and 500 difference between those two values in 2000 the value is 300 whereas in 2001 the value is 500 here is the percentage increment we need to calculate from 2000 to 2001 the difference between those two values which is 200 divided by previous year value or less value that is 300 into 100 percentage into 100 percentage here two zeros two zeros gets cancelled therefore the required percentage increment is equal to two third of hundred two third of hundred is nothing but 66 2 by 3 percentage one third of hundred is 33 1 by 3 then two third of uh, hundred which is equal to 66 2 by 3 percentage or else if you don't know that particular value you just do the calculation like this uh, 200 by 3 2 into 100 that is 200 divided by 3. This is your percentage which is equal to 66 2 by 3 percentage. That is the percentage increment of company A 
of annual turnover from 2000 to 2001. Once look at the option 66 2 by 3 that is there in option C. Therefore option C is the right answer for this question. Option C. Let us look at the second question. Here is the second question. What is the percentage increase in total turnover of both the companies taken together from the year 97 to 98? Now we are talking about uh, two years 97 and 98. From 97 to 98, we need to calculate percentage increment of both the companies together. Both the companies in the sense A and B together. A and B together. Not the single uh, company. Here we are talking about both the companies. Uh, both the companies percentage increment uh, we need to calculate. Both the companies together. Basically how can we calculate percentage increment? Just now I said that percentage increment is nothing but difference between the values which we are taking divided by less value divided by less value or previous year value into 100 percentage. This is a way of doing the calculation for percentage increment. Now, this particular percentage increment is equal to, first note down the values of 97 companies A and B together. First, 1997 both the values. Here we are talking about 97 and 98. In 97 company A is 200, company B is 400. 200 plus 400 which is equal to 600. In 97 both the companies together value is 600. Whereas in 1998 coming to 1998 company A is 400, company B is 300. 400 plus 300 which is equal to 700 so 97 total 600 98 total 700 take the difference between those two 700 600 difference is 100 divided by previous year value which is 600 into 100 percentage now here two zeros two zeros gets cancelled and you just cancel with two table two fifties Two, three times that is equal to 50 by 3 50 by 3 means which is 16 2 by 3 percentage 16 2 by 3 percentage therefore the required percentage increment is equal to 16 2 by 3 percentage that is from uh, no uh, 97 to 98 both the companies taken together so, once look at the options, option A is the right answer for this question. Option A. Look at the third question. Here is the third question. What is the difference between average turnover of companies A and B? Average turnover of company A and company B. And then you need to calculate the difference. First of all, uh, as we all know that how can we calculate the average? Average is nothing but sum of observations. Average is equal to sum of observations divided by number of observations. This is the standard formula to calculate average, right? Now from this, sum of observations is nothing but in this case, you need to take the total value of total value of a either company A or company B. If you are calculating average of company A, you need to take the numerator as total value of company A in all the years together. If you are calculating the average of company B, then the numerator value is total value of all the, uh, all, uh, all the years uh, company B total. Coming to the denominator, number of observations. Number of observations is nothing but how many years uh, that you are taking? Total number of years. In this way, you just calculate the average of company A and average of company B. Once you got the required average and then take the difference between. You need to calculate the difference between those two. Here the task is not only calculating the average. Here the task is that uh, you need to calculate the difference between those two. First, I will calculate the average of company A. 
average of company A which is equal to first uh, company A which is representing with uh, rhombus shape once highlight all the values uh, which are representing the company A here it is 400 and this is 450 and next 300 500 these values are representing a company A add all the values 250 plus 200 plus 400 plus 450 plus 300 plus 500 these are the total six values that represents company A divided by number of years six years 96, 97, 98, 99, 2000, 2001 total 6 years therefore the required average of company A that is equal to here uh, add all the values in the numerator here it is uh, 800, 800 plus 200, 1000, 1000 plus uh, 400, 1400, 1400 plus uh, 400 that is uh, 1800, 1800, 2000, 2000 plus uh, 50, 50, 100, 2100 divided by 6. Guys, here I am not going to cal cancel these two values. Why? Because uh, in the uh, for company B also you will get the denominator as 6 only. That is the reason why I am not cancelling a denominator value at present. And then you can calculate average of company B. Average of company B is equal to add all the values of company B. First, I am taking the values. First value is 350. Second value 400. Third value 300. Fourth value 500. Next, uh, fifth value 350. And last value is 550. Divided by number of years are 6. Therefore, the required average of B, average of company B is equal to, add all the values, here it is uh, 700, 700 plus uh, 300, 1000, 1000 plus 1500, 1800, uh, 2300, 2300 plus uh, we have uh, 50s, 1, 2, 3, 350 is uh, 150, it means uh, 2, 3 plus 150 which is equal to 2450 2450 divided by number of years number of years are 6 years now you need to take the difference between these two values company A average company B average difference the required difference is equal to it is just uh, uh, clear that just comparing these two values uh, average of company B is uh, higher than average of company A. So, difference between these two means company B average minus company A average. 2450 divided by 6 minus 2100 divided by 6. Here the LCM is 6 and the difference between these two is 350. 350 divided by 6, you just cancel with 2 table. 2 3 is next 1 time, 7 times. 5 times 175 divided by 3 175 divided by 3 which is equal to here you just cancel with uh, 5 times and next uh, uh, 25 25 means uh, 8 times 25 means uh, 8 times uh, still 1 is left over 1 is a uh, remainder divided by 3 58 1 by 3 lakhs all the values are given in terms of lakhs therefore the denominator value uh, whatever the answer you got uh, that is in terms of lakh rupees so it is very clear that the difference between uh, average of company a and uh, average of company a company a average company b average the difference uh, annual turnover of both the companies that is uh, 58 1 by 3 lakhs once look at the options uh, option b is the right answer for this question 58 1 by 3 option b let us look at the fourth question here is the fourth question the turnover of company a the turnover of company a in 1998 here we are talking about 1998 that to company a is approximately what percent of its total turnover in all the years 
total turnover in all the years. It means A company A total turnover in all the years. So first uh, here, here we need to calculate approximate percentage. Approximate percentage of uh, which value? Company A in the year 1998, this particular annual turnover is approximately what percentage of uh, total turnover of company A in all the years together. It means uh, total of company A. Total of company A in all the years together. In 200 percentage symbol that is a common point. Now you just uh, note down all the values. The required percentage, approximate percentage is equal to company A which is representing a rhombus shape. Uh, I'll just uh, highlight the values 250, 200, next 400, 450, 300, 800. Here 98 company A, that value is 400. This is what percentage of all these values in the denominator 250 plus 200 plus 400 plus 450 plus 300 plus 500 into 100 percentage symbol that is common point. Now the required approximate percentage is equal to here it is 400 into 100 percentage divided by what is this denominator value? Here it is uh, 800,000, next uh, 1800, 2000, 2100, 2100. Here two zeros, two zeros gets cancelled. The required value is 400 divided by 21. Now you just cancel with the uh, 21 table directly. <laughs> what you will get? Here it is 21 one sir. 21 one sir uh, 21 and next 19 is left over 190 190 means it is 21 uh, uh, 9 sir 21 9 sir 189 so the required answer is 19 point something 19.0 or 19.1 you will get okay so 19.0 uh, that will gives you the approximate answer as uh, you can just take it as approximately 19 percentage approximately this particular value is 19 percentage that is the approximate percentage 19 percentage once look at the options uh, among the options 19 percentage is there at option e therefore option e is the right answer for this question option e last question in this session see here what is the ratio between here we need to calculate the ratio. Ratio between which values? The turnover of both the companies together in the years 96 and 97 respectively. It means 1996-1997 both companies turnover together. Together in the sense you need to add both the companies A and B. A plus B together, A plus B together in the year 96 and in the year 97. Here we are talking about these two years, 96 and 97. In 1996, company A is 250 and next company B is 350. Is 2. In 1997, company A is 200, company B is 400. Now you just add these two values what you will get here. Here it is uh, 250 plus 350 which is equal to 600 is to 200 plus 400 that is also 600. Therefore the required ratio is 1 is to 1. The required ratio is 1 is to 1. It means uh, the ratio between 1996 and 1997 both the companies together which is equal to 1 is to 1. Once look at the options, uh, among the options, option C is the right answer for this question, option C. Guys, in this way you need to solve the questions based on this model. I hope you understand all the problems in this session. Thank you, thank you very much for watching.